You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. You been skipping out on your meds again, bud? Benny? I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. supposed to be here just calm down mr. Walker what the fuck is happening to me yeah I understand I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder all right so let me get this straight he says he loses Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Dr. Jimmy. James is waiting. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping me okay, here! Okay, Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying... Ready? Shut... Jack... Fine! All right. No... Come on, Jackie. Just... Yeah. Sure. Whatever you say. Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vick's been asking me about your progress. My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You were ah. doing right, here we go. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go! Johnny, Two! Sleep! Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back Run here, Jackie! Table. Head for the bunker! He must Tell Eva some I will be late! He's running for the door! Jackie, get back Oi, here! This way. There's nothing out there for you!
See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <sighs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball... It says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? What if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So... What are you going to do? I'm going to go to my Aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm going to go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! Think back to... Hey... Good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay. Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress? Biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Jackie. None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. I'm 
sorry for your loss, Jack. It's the crazy fucking Lord of the Rings and SWAT. I know this is a tough p- She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this. I want you to know I think you're- That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders? Fuck you, Mr. Keep looking for him. Ah, move! 
Ecco.
You're just a vessel for the darkness, Estacado. You're a flesh-covered suitcase. No, a temporary... Finish. Go ahead. Kill me. <laughs> you know you want to. This is my reward. I welcome this suffering in the name of the yeah, Brotherhood. <laughs> Where's your boss hiding? What makes you think he's hiding, huh? Hiding from weakness like you? <laughs> he's at Hellgate. You oh, remember Hellgate, so don't you, Jackie? So many fun memories there, huh? <laughs> Come pay us a visit. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Hellgate, huh? Thanks for the help, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> First time you kill a man, you come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. <laughs>